Hello guys, welcome to Travel Scout. In this video, we are going to tell you the top places you can visit in Gran Valera. 1. Gran Valera Sector El Tartar One of the ski resort's more dynamic sectors, El Tartar was created with the most intense winter sports in mind. The Snowpark El Tartar, one of the longest in Europe and with the longest line of modules in the Pyrenees, is located here. Additionally, the Liga Slope obtained FIAS clearance as a downhill slope in the year 2013. The 2016 Alpine Skiing World Cup was held on this hill. Families will also find a variety of kid-friendly activities in this area, including a kid's circuit and the Bababoom Circus, where the youngest members of the family may enjoy a slope specifically created for them with lots of surprises. El Tartar offers one of Andorra's most exciting and varied noons, with the El Abarset Restaurant Terrace, serving as a popular apres ski gathering spot in Gran Valera, with a variety of events you won't want to miss. 2. San Joan de Cassel's Church In Canillo, Andorra, there is a church called Esglesia de San Joan de Cassel's. It is a historically significant building that is listed in Andorra's cultural heritage. It was constructed during the years 11 and 12, a quick trip to observe an Andorran building with historical value. The inside is closed, but the exterior is a lovely example of an old stone church. There is a relief fresca and a little very close to the road store inside. It's lovely to photograph. Magnificent and ancient church. It's a good location for pictures. Free parking and a few restaurants are permitted. A motorcycle museum is also nearby. Admission is roughly 5 euro 6. Both locations are distinct and quite intriguing. Therefore, I strongly suggest visiting them both. Skiing is possible there in the winter. It takes only a few minutes by automobile to reach the capital from this location. 3. Gran Valera, Sector Soldu The best ski area in Andorra for experienced and intermediate skiers is Gran Valera. From blue to black, there are many slopes that have been carefully constructed. For those who dare to try some tricks, there is also a sizable snow park. The resort is easily accessible for many villages, including Cat Tartar and Soldu, and there are many taverns and restaurants there. Large parking spaces are offered nearby the resort lifts at no charge. Definitely a recommendation. Absolutely outstanding the group lessons and private lessons are both expertly taught by knowledgeable instructors who are familiar with the terrain, the local environment, and the teaching process in general. You are not required to attend ski school, but I bet you will improve and have more fun if you do. However, don't be afraid to take three days, Mix in some alone time, and then spend the remaining time touring. Just consult a teacher if you become lost or stuck. A must-go-to location with terrain suitable for all levels of skiing and snowboarding. The teams do an excellent job of keeping the snow on the slopes. I've been going for a while. There are places where you may learn from scratch or even get pointers on how to get better at skiing or snowboarding. Personally, I like staying in Soldu since it has better amenities, rental equipment, a lively nightlife, and easy access to the slopes. 4. Marader Rock del Cor Awe-inspiring with breathtaking views. If you visit Andorra, you must do it. From Canillo, the settlement at the foot of the mountains, you can either drive or take the bus. It's difficult to find a better location for photos, so make sure you have your phone or camera with you. Getting to Marader Rock del Cor is very challenging. Going to Canillo is one alternative. The bus L4 from Andorra's stops behind the Mango Outlet store and costs 3 euros and using a taxi from Canillo. However, the cab will still charge you the same amount as if you were traveling from Andorra, because there aren't any taxes in Canillo, according to locals. It costs around 20 to 30 euros, and the price is the same for the return trip. You can share the taxi with someone else or have someone drop you off. The view is magnificent. You want to sit there like the statue, take in the scenery, and reflect on your life. 5. Basilica Santuario de Nuestra Signora de Meritzel an apparition of the Virgin Mary is shown in the Roman Catholic statue of Our Lady of Merixil in Andorra. The nation of Andorra's patron saint is Our Lady of Merixil. The first statue was made in the latter half of the 12th century. However, the statue was destroyed when the chapel in which it was kept burned down on September 8, 1972. Ricardo Bofill, taller de Arquitectura, created the new Merixil Basilica in 1976, and it features a replica. Merixil, according to Catalan philologist Joan Cormans, is a diminutive of Merrick, which comes from the Latin Meridium. Shepherds refer to a meadow with lots of sun as Merrick. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. 
Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe, and we'll be back soon with another video.